Hi, welcome back to WolfMix 101, looking at the WolfMix W1 DMX controller and the simple, easy, two, maybe three minute lessons on how to program it. We're going to jump straight in. We've already done adding fixtures. We've done building your own fixtures. And now we're moving on from color effects to adding movement effects. Let's go back down. What we've done is back to the visualizer and I've already jumped in and dimmed down all the other effects that are on the stage at the moment apart from the top moving heads you can see here. They're still at the moment so what we want to do is move them about. If we go into the movement effect and once again these row of buttons, the top row are the uh, groups that you're going to affect. The group that I want to use at the moment is going to be the top moving heads and as you can see there's only two groups at the moment in programmed in that have actually got any kind of motorized effect in. We'll start with the top and at the moment you can see it's making a lovely figure zero excuse me at the moment you can see it's making a lovely circle. The different built-in effects are just a straight up and down, a pan left and right, a circle, a figure of eight, let's get them all moving in the same time and speed it up a little bit, we'll show you how to do all this after, there we go, you can see the figure of eight that it's drawing, there's a kind of a magic carpet wave, they all dance together for you, There's a conductor and there is one that you can edit yourself and we'll go into the editing of the racks at a later date in a different lesson. So once you've selected the effect we're back down to the four controls on the bottom. On this one it's how big the circle is going to be on the third one. On the first one is the speed that it's going to travel at and we've got it on the internal clock, once again the same as the colour effects, it's affected by the internal clock, the beat tap, or by the BPM that's output by your software, or it takes a BPM off the internal mic. Personally, I just keep these on the internal clock on a speed control and it gives you a nice smooth effect. And believe me, when you see these on moving heads and scanners, it is as smooth as butter in real life. It really is one of the best movements I've seen this side of a hog desk. Okay then, the next dialogue is the phase. And as with the color effects, what it'll do is it'll cause the lights to move out of phase with each other or out of sync with each other by however much you dial in. So you can see you're getting a kind of a wave out of it and this light is moving out of sync with this one, with this one, with this one, etc. all the way through. And as with the colour effects, the internal programming of the box is very clever. It works out how many moving effects you're, are in that group and how far it has to push them out of phase as to how many are there. If we turn it right up, it's a lovely effect I like. We knock them 100% out of phase and you get a really nice kind of room scanning spiral from it. The size is how big the circle is. So if we take the phase all the way out so that you can see and you can decrease to a really tight little circle up to a rather large one all dependent on how quickly you want them to move and how big a circle you want. The fade is how quickly it moves from step to step so if you turn the fade right the way down you get a really jerky movement as you can see from step to step. So again with movements I usually turn the fade right the way up to 100% and gives you a really smooth effect on the shape that you're creating. 
Once you've set it up, back to the home screen, you can either press the effects rack again or press home. That brings you back and the green buttons along the bottom, as you can see there's only two groups that can be affected with motors and we just select them and there's the movement. If you want to add colour to that, the same as before, using the colour effects, you can have the colour and the movement all together at once. That's the end of that lesson. We'll see you on the next one.